Oh, happy Friday. Happy fall. Actually, that was a couple days ago, but it feels like fall. And it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm walking. Y'all know that's my thing. Um, it's not very far between our house and Jason's parents, which I've kind of called the homestead place. That's kind of where everything's located. Uh, we own the acreage between, which is about a half a mile or a little less um, between us. So I just walk it. Jason and I share the same truck, especially now because our little farm truck is down. <sighs> it's always something, but walking um, just kind of gives me a few minutes to kind of get my thoughts collected between getting the kids on the bus which actually Jason's doing this morning because we are very busy and uh, he's taking care of them so I can come down and start chores. I have all the chores to do um, because his parents are gone so it's just kind of adds to it. Carol took care of things last week while I was gone and now I'm taking care of things this week so that's just kind of how it works for us. It does take me a little longer because um, I try to get everything as much as I can done first thing in the morning so that I'm not stressing about it later in the day. But, anywho. <laughs> Long story short, we're walking to work. <laughs> and we're doing more silage today. No. I know, puppies, just hold on. Mama's only one person. What are you doing? It's just marriage stuff. Um, I'm not sure. It? I haven't even opened it yet. It just came in yesterday. I have several stuff I have to open. <laughs> so here's the day three of the silage pit. talk just a brief few minutes about the differences um, for corn silage and haylage and different um, feed rations that you can utilize for your livestock. Obviously we are doing corn silage ha, um, for our cows for this winter. We have a lot. Um, 
the insurance, the crop insurance guy was out yesterday, and he was guesstimating about 150 um, per bushel, which is really awesome. Like, I mean, for corn silage, that's really good. The ideal thing with corn silage versus um, field corn is you want a lot of height, not necessarily so many ears. You want a lot of height because you want that feed ration. We are doing 14 acres of corn silage the last three days. We are newbies. We've never done it before. My dad came over because he did it farming and I did it when growing up with him, but it's been 20 years, give or take, for that. I'm watching Jason, sorry. He's He's got a wagon and I've got the pub. But field corn, um, you know, it hits a certain level and you're all about the corn cob itself. Whereas corn silage, you really want a good stock base. And ideally, you want like the bottom part, like the, I would say the first three foot to be kind of turning brown and tossing. And then you call it firing, I guess, is what technical terms are called. But um, the rest of it needs to be green. So like, I don't know if you guys can see how through the windshield, but it's green at the top bottom part just starting to turn brown this is making some really nice feed he's got a dump or I mean he's got a so I got my load on um, I'm driving back across the field uh, to the pit this is one of those things that um, this project is one of those things that you, when you start it you literally have to just keep going until you you have to stop um, Jason's parents are out of town. They went to a seminar the last few days, so I had to uh, pester my dad to come over and help us pack and kind of oversee the chopping because, um, as I mentioned the last few days, we've not done this. I did it growing up as a child um, with all, my dad and my grandparents, but I have not really done it for like the last 20 years. So. We're still using the same equipment. We don't have anything fancy. It's an older chopper. It's a two row. We've got the dump wagon and then we've got the, whatever this is, the pub. So we have two wagons between the two of us because really that's, there's only two of us plus my dad out here. And you can make it work. And that was one of the things I was really honing in on and like showcasing to you guys. Farming is hard work, but it can also be so rewarding and anybody can do it if you just have the mindset it, it's definitely motivation like if you love what you do it's going to just be easier uh, even on the hard days um, I, I'm really blessed I grew up as a farmer's daughter I married a farmer and then I get to become the farm you know I was a farm wife for a long time and now I get to just be the farmer and I love it I love being able to take you guys with us I love showing you all the cattle I love to teach you guys so I really hope you guys got something out of the corn silage chopping, the last, I guess like corn chopping saga, the last three days. Um, I think when it's all said and done and we get done with it, I'd really like to talk about the different key components of silage. One, one big thing is it, in the grass fed, corn fed dilemma with livestock, with cattle, you can feed corn fed beef, or you can feed grass-fed beef corn silage because you are feeding the whole stock. You are not feeding it a grain product because the corn has not been shelled. So when they say it's grass-fed beef, 90% of the time, it's gonna have some sort of corn silage based background. It's definitely a lot of hand signals. We don't have two-way radios or Anything. We have to be really on point with each other.
my dad is still packing. He has been our packer for the last three days. Um, I know down in my heart that we wouldn't have been done in two and a half days if he wouldn't have came over to help us out. We had problems with the chopper. <laughs> we needed life lessons and I was very thankful he was willing to come over. Um, I asked him during lunch today, you guys probably can't hear me because my camera batteries died and the wind is picking up because there's rain coming in. I'll hold that thought. this little child inside of us and a lot of times it gets smushed down as the older we get we lose that that grace and that essence of that innocence of being a child you guys my inner child was like happy dance all weekend because I got to have my dad here and it's just something about your dad coming and helping you do whatever it is and it just I needed that, I think. I really did. Um, I'm, I am very much the daddy's girl. Um, always begged and pleaded to go with him no matter what he was doing, whether it be running equipment or feedlot and cattle or doctor and pigs, whatever it was, I wanted to be right there. I wanted to be in it. Um, and at one time I thought we were I was never going to get to do what I'm doing now. There was a time in life that, well, things just kind of fell apart and that happens sometimes. Um, but the good Lord, uh, the good Lord uh, gave me Jason. So I went from being a farmer's daughter to a farmer's wife, to a farm mom to the farmer and that is just it's something that you know just means so much to me and you guys are going to start seeing a little bit more of that um, more on my blog um, than probably here because I really I, I like to take you all farming I like to take you all here and I don't want to preach at you because that's not what I'm about but um, you guys can follow the blog chroniclesofthefarmerswife.com. We are revamping, reorganizing, and uh, yeah, there's just so much I want to share and teach you guys about. And uh, thanks for the ride. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for being with us this weekend. Um, I'm going to start the JX and take it back up and uh call it a night well at first before i call it a night i a one have to go get the kids for my mom's um and two do all the evening chores and then i think i might convince jason to get me some supper thank you guys we will see you the next time stay safe god bless thank you I'm ready to be done. <laughs> it's been a long day, his shirt's untucked even. There's a lot of silage here. So one of the big things, and I'm gonna talk about it more later on, um, the whole corn-fed, grass-fed dilemma with beef, to each their own, whatever. Um, it makes no difference to me. I've ate both. I will eat both depending on what um, mind frame I'm in. But here's the deal. Grass-fed beef. Yeah, it's coming out. You're almost done. There you go. Um, Grass-fed beef can quote-unquote 
have corn silage because of this right here. This, this here, it's not, and obviously this has got grass in it, so um, it's the whole plant. So ideally, it's just the stalk, it's fodder. Um, you can see that there's corn kernels in it, but it's a nice chop. It's not just solid grain.